Hello guys, Zeb from New Zealand. Um, I have iPhone 8 here, which has suddenly gone dead after the screen replacement. And this is one of the most common mistake which amateur or DIY repairs um, people do. So, um, so um, the problem is uh, the charging MOSFET on iPhone 8 and 8 Plus is located very close to the battery terminal so when you are replacing the lcd screen of course you have to disconnect the battery connectors so um, because that charging mosfet which is q3200 is very close to the battery connector so this is a prior damage so un unintentionally or unknowingly they pulled it off and then after screen replacement when they try to charge the phone it doesn't charge it doesn't boot up so i will show you here so this is uh, the iPhone 8 here. Um, if you look at the amp meter, so if I put it on charge, so see it's only drawing 0 0.05, 0 0.3, and then goes to 0 0.01 amp, which is um, this one here. It should draw at least very close to um, uh, one amp of current that means it's charging so see this is what happens it, it just because of that charging MOSFET it wouldn't turn on it wouldn't charge so I will show you where the charging MOSFET which is Q3200 is located so the, these are the battery connectors see how close uh, it is so this is the charging MOSFET this one here and I will remove these gaskets from here. And this is um, charging port connectors. And I think you can see clearly, maybe I will put you here in the microscope which is this one here as you can see this is broken so what I have will do I will just remove first of all uh, this glue that covers covers it and once this is done because I now I would like to clear this space here I will turn on my soldering iron let's see if I can zoom you in a little bit more now So I think that's good enough, otherwise I can show you here in the microscope, yeah, that's okay. So, I will get a little bit of flux, but here. Yeah, I think you can see here. And I would like to remove because these MOSFET legs are broken, but they are still attached there. Yep, that looks all good to me. Okay. So the next thing uh, I will do is to give it a clean. Clean it with isopropyl alcohol. 
It does charge, but it, it's really, really slow. Okay, and, and we're we're after cleaning, we will tin it with low melt solder. Um, so we have cleaned the area. You see, I will show you here. You see these. Um, this is where the. Sorry, you have to do a little bit of adjustment here, and that that is okay. So this is where we have taken out that MOSFET. Do you see that three dots? So let's see where um, on the board view why this MOSFET charging MOSFET is so important. So if we go here, so this is the charging MOSFET which is uh, Q3200. So if we check what these connectors actually does so this one here which is a SDA connection line which is actually directly connected to uh, the battery terminal which is here and if we check this one here this is one of the I2C so if you know what the I2C lines are these I2C lines are very important to turn on or charge any phone so this is I2C line and the third one here is PP 1.8 line so this MOSFET is very important this is like sort of you know if it's not there so sometimes I wonder why these small parts can bring down your whole expensive phone down altogether there should be a way maybe a backup IC is something so but anyway um, so what we will do now is uh, we will tin uh, these uh, with the low melt solder. Why we are tinning this with the low melt solder? Because we don't want to, um, I have not taken the board out. So put a little bit of flux. And then I will get my soldering iron. I will put you here so that you can have a better view, I think. And then I will get a little bit of low melt solder. And I will just put a little bit of this low melt solder on the tip because I just would like to tin it in here, tin here and tin here. Okay. So now we have got uh, low melt solder there and that's been tinned maybe because the flux is here maybe you are not able to see clearly but anyway this is one two three so I have to put um, a heat resist uh, mask masking tape here so that we don't burn the um, these connectors I don't want to give them any sort of hate uh, why we can't do um, solder here putting it here and then solder the legs because they are underneath the MOSFET so we will get the new MOSFET and we will put it on So guys, to give you an uh, idea how small this <coughs> MOSFET is, see this is the MOSFET and this is <coughs> the tip of my tuser, which is I will get the more. So these tuser are very small tuser. So it's just the size of the tip. So I will, if I show you here, see that black dot there. 
this is the mouse plate <coughs> pretty small huh so anyway <coughs> we have got the mosfet which i have taken it out from another dead iphone 8 phone and uh, now we will solder it back <coughs> um sorry before we solder it back i will uh, just put the heat resist tape on it so i have covered the fpc connectors and the other things um, with the tape and now uh, this is where the new our new MOSFET is which I don't know if you can see or not anyway so this is here and I will hold it here nicely and then give it a heat I want it to be settled down by itself and just feel if it's settled down. Yep, it feels like it did settle down. Okay, let's look here. Oh man, I hate it when these shiny, you know, it doesn't give good view. But anyway, I will remove this and hopefully we did not burn anything here no it all look great so this is a good heat resistor which I'm using it's quite thick so anyway so I think you can see it's pretty here this one here can't even see okay let's put some isopropyl alcohol so that we can have a good view i don't want to push it too hard just little bit of here 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 here, here, here. okay I'll just give it a little bit of clean. Okay. Looks okay to me. Which is this one here. And now we will put the battery connector. First we have to check if it's drawing the right. So now we will put the battery connectors on check in the amp meter if it's drawing the right voltage if it's drawing the right voltage more it's fixed if it's still not drawing the right amps then um, because this is a um, charging boss which came from a donor board then maybe we have to find a new one I don't have new one in the stock at the moment anyway let's have a look so let's put the battery connector here so we don't need this one to be inserted anyway so look at the ammeter okay so do you guys see it's drawing it's started charging it's drawing the right amps so what we will do we will put 
the LCD on now. Okay, put the charger in and can you still see? Okay, all done. And do you see the amp meter? So it's drawing close to one ampere. So it turns up, turns on. It's all done. So guys, if you are doing a DIY repair or um, if you are uh, just um, replacing the screen or the battery, make sure on iPhone 8 and 8 Plus that charging MOSFET is very close uh, to the um, battery connectors. So make sure you be very careful, if, but if you have got same sort of problem uh, with your phone, it might not be the charging MOSFET, it could be something else. So you can contact us, all the contact information are in the comment. And um, thank you for watching. Bye.